What's going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis X. All right, back at you with the Check This Out show. The show where we take a look at whatever cards we want to take a look at and have so it's good old time. Today, everybody, we're taking a look at the new Trap Tricks support. Trap Tricks are getting a structure deck of all things. It's crazy world, I know. And we're going to take a look at the new support that they got. We finally have some nice stuff for going first. And it's very good day. So, despite the name of the deck, as you can see, we are actually taking a look at a more or less pure trap tricks. We'll do a hat another day. That one's going to be pretty crazy, let me tell you. It's going to have all the whizzles and the fizzles, if you know what I mean. But for now, we're taking a look at trap tricks as they are to see the baseline power of trap tricks that just go shoot the roof if you put anything else to it. And so today, we're going to be taking a look at this deck here that I have prepared, and we'll have such so good time. So, real quick, the cards we'll be using, and then get right into uh, the duels. So, for our main deck today, we have one copy of the Lord of the Heavenly Prison, three copies of Parallel Exceed, two copies of Trap Tricks DNI, three copies of Trap Tricks Mermello, one, two, three copies of Trap Tricks Mantis, one copy of Trap Tricks Vesicula, three copies of the beautiful Trap Tricks uh, Arach Arachnicampa. I actually said it right that time. Arachnicampa. I got it this time. All righty, so we also have three copies of Ash Blossom. One called by the Grave is our only spell today. Three copies of Imperm. Three copies of Grave Digger's Trap Hole. One copy of Orchid Strike. Three copies of Torrential Tribute. Two copies of Floodgate Trap Hole. Three Compulsory Evacuation Device. Three copies of the Shade Knights of Brigadine. And two copies of the new Delusional Trap Hole. As for the extra deck, we have two copies of Trap Trick Sarah, Mascarena. One Trap Tricks Kulavia, one Trap Tricks Adipus, one Nightmare Unicorn, one Excess Code Talker and Underworld Goddess is our be all end all link monsters. We have one Trap Tricks Rafflesia, one Baguska if things go horribly wrong for some reason. We have one Trap Tricks Alamaris, we have Gallant Granite to search out the Lord, two copies of the new Trap Tricks Pingukula, and one Double A Zeus in case things go you know, very south, or we are forced to use Baguska, whatever happens. As to the side deck, many things in the side deck, just additional power play sort of things. If you want to forego Witch's Strike and make Lord of the Heavenly Prison a more consistent thing, you can give that a shot. That's a nice little thing to protect your back row and let you plus even harder off your traps. If you want to be one of those people, you're going to be one of those people, Dasher, Draw Guy, Destroy Phoenix Boy and his Fusion Spell, if you just want to have a card that lets you pop your opponent's cards on their turn, interrupt them even harder. You also have things like other rank fours, like Utopia and his brothers, the Lightning and the Double, for just massive amounts of damage. You have Time Through for Doom to interrupt your opponent by just screwing away with the cards on top of their deck, interrupt their flow. Of course, there's also Artifact Scythe as a complement to the original Hats deck, but that's for you no know, the Hats later. But if you want to just stay up saying no extra deck for a turn, this guy is your guy, along, of course, with Artifact Sanctum. We also have things like Time Spurs Trap Hole, just spin everything in the extra deck back into the deck. And lastly, Ice Dragon's Prison, just to banish your opponent's cards, interrupt their flow just a little bit more, and deny them resources. So, is the deck we have prepared today, folks. Let's go ahead into EDO Pro, show this deck off in all of its glory, have ourselves a good time, and let's just get right into it. Here on our first opponent, another day, another card game. We want to try and go first. This is very much a going first thing. Trap tricks in general, just a going first soda bunch. All right, what do we have for an opening hand? Well, it's not perfect, but it's something. We got our old Mermello, the OG staple of trap tricks. Just searches me a trap hole. And in this case, I'm going to get dra the grave digger hole. That's really useful nowadays. A lot of hand effects, a lot of grave effects things of that nature. So we're going to go ahead and make good old Santa. You always want to go for Sarah first. You play a trap card, you get a trap trick. So trap trick effect goes off, you get a trap. More importantly, we have Shade Brigadine. No traps in the grave, I get a free level four. And another one. An egg. Another one. And in this case, I'm actually going to go for another... Well, I could go for Mantis. Better than say this. So we're going to go for another Mermello. You see, Mermelo's effect will go off even if my opponent has no spell traps. This will still trigger Sarah's effect. 
So now I can just get another trap hole. In this case, I could get the illusion trap hole. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll get the illusion trap hole. Why not? Give it a shot. Give it a thang. So, as we like to do going first, we're going to start off with, well, we can start with a lot of things. I like Rafflesia, though. She protects my monsters from destruction, protects them from effect destruction, battle destruction, except for herself. But, you know, it, it's fine. It doesn't need to protect herself. She don't got to protect herself when she's protecting everybody else. And that ought to be a okay. So we'll end our turn with that. It's an okay start. You know, I didn't have my newest monsters. I don't have my Mantis. But we made ourselves a decent enough opening hand. We got Grave Digger. We can stop things. We've got Delusion, stop things. We got Witch's Strike can stop things. We can stop many things. All right, so my opponent will start with Stratos. As one does. All right, so let me think about this. I could Torrential, but that would be a pointless thing. Now, I should explain with Torrential. You might think, Memphis, why would you blow up your own board? Answer, because neither of these is affected by trap cards. I will not be affected. This is basically just Regeki. Basically, Torrential Tribute, just Regeki for the Trap Tricks. And that's what I like about it. So, we're going to E-Heroes, all right. I'm mostly just waiting for him to use Ferris, and then I can negate it so I can stop his whole combo. That's the nice thing about Glaive Digger Hole. And here's the nicest thing. If my opponent negates this, I got Witch's Strike. If you've never heard of this card, it, it hasn't done a lot. But basically what it does is my opponent negates anything of mine, a summon or an effect. Uh, it, it, you know. Actually, it works on my opponent negating himself, now that I think about it. Uh, but yeah, basically, if he negates me, he loses all of his cards. Everything on the hand, everything in the field, everything. So what is this doing? Um, can I be my battle? Let's card special summon. Add a poly or something that add mentions elemental heroes. Okay. An interesting proposition. You know, we're trying to control the board. I can allow my opponent a couple liberties. I know how good heroes can be with just like one card. That's the thing. I can be patient. And I've got Rafflesia. She can just trigger any of my traps from the deck, which is the nice thing. Okay, getting a trap card. Um, Summon E here from extra deck mentions a hero. Place in the fusion materials, bottom of the deck in any order. Oh, that's certainly an annoying card, sir. Um, I must see they control. Now nah, let's just go for Grave Digger Hole. Be like, no, Ferris for you. Go ahead, negate me. I want you to do it. I want for you to do it. What does he have? Red Reboot? That card gets banned. He has nothing that can negate this that I'm aware of. Is there something you can play that can negate this? I don't know. But if there is, I want to see him do it. Yeah, go to Grave Digger's Hole. Just stop hand traps. My opponent has a hand trap? Well, too bad. I'll just negate Ferris. And then, trap went off. Hey, Sarah's going off. Getting me more fangs. And go ahead, effect veiler me. That I'm more likely to see. Or, Ash Blossom. Although, he well, he might have drawn into Ash Blossom. I was about to say, he would have done that earlier, but... No. Mask change. All right. And you're hitting Stratos? So that gets... Blast. Right. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so I get a special summon a dude. Let me think. Do I want to summon? I could get DNI and get a trap hole back. I could get my Arachnacampa, which wouldn't do me any good, so that's not really an option. And I'm out of Mantises, which or I'm out, I'm out of um out of Bermellos. Ooh, hard decision, Memphis. Um, I could go for Mantis. I could spin a trap back and set it again. And that would activate my monster's effect again. Or I could just go for Arachnacampa, which is not bad either. I'm going to go for Mantis. Just because it has utility. So what does it do? Target face of monster controls attack becomes half its original, its current attack. Um, who are you? Are you attacking Re Replesia? Uh, pay 500, target a spell trap, the return. 
Um. Eh? I mean, I'll lose Mantis, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Well, please, you'll protect me. What am I doing? What am I thinking? All right, what is this guy doing? Neos Fusion. Normally, that would be an issue. But that's what Rafflesia is here for. Rafflesia will protect me. All right, so Neos Fusion into, I presume, Rainbow Neos. Although, could be something else. Uh, let's see. If you summon an E here, Fusion, let's cards in the gray. Banish this card, draw two cards, then place one card. All right, well, he's saving that for now. Cool. Uh, my opponent knows what he's doing, but he's very low on life points. If I had hard earth draco and i was actually playing spells he'd be in some trouble uh Kruger? all right uh oh wait i can just like activate another gravedigger hole by detaching material yeah so that'll be game right there the power of trap tricks control my opponent never stood a chance so an interesting attempt by the E hero play. I mean, he had some nice combo wombos, but my wombos combo harder. So you get an idea of what we're trying to do. Start off, summon Sarah, get Rafflesia if we can also wing Rafflesia. Some of the other exceeds too. Just trap my opponent to death until they just give up and scream for mercy. So let's go ahead for duel number two. Show off more of what this deck can do. We haven't even shown off the rest of the new trap trick support. That was old school trap tricks. Let's show up some of the new school trap tricks. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. Hopefully this time we'll get to see some of the new stuff, though. That's what I would like to see. A little bit of the new, and there you go. Well, that's not the best time for her, but we do have Arachnicampa. This is the nice searcher that you get off of Mantis. Mantis used to just search a monster and it did nothing. Now she does a little bit of something. So we've got a Ragnar Kappa. Again, not the best thing to start off with that or no other Trap Tricks monsters, but she allows us to get started. And that's all Trap Tricks need to do is get started. You know, they're kind of like old school Gladiator Beasts. You start them up, you get the ball rolling, and you can't stop them. So we'll go for Sarah as we do. Asses in the hand. It's always nice having an ass in the hand. And we'll go for Melio. There you go. That way we'll have ourselves a nice even start. Nice and even. Let's see. Ah, uh, what do I want to search? I mean, I'm going to have a Rafflesia. So let's get Delusion Trap Hole. Show off some of more of the new stuff. Nice trap card. You know, you have a trap in the whole graveyard. It lets you banish a couple opponent's grave. But it also just lets you pop an opponent's card. It's nice. So where is Rafflesia? Although I could go for Gallant Granite too. Hmm. That would certainly give me a little more protection and show off some of the other things this deck can do. You know what? Why not? We'll take a we'll risk it for a biscuit. A little less trap holing, but I still get to do things. So we're gonna go ahead and detach Mermello, get ourselves our Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Nice card, protects my back row. And if I happen to activate a piece of back row while this guy's revealed, I can just summon him, get any other spell trap I want. And since I only have one spell, it's more than likely I'll be getting myself a trap. So, there you go. We got ourselves an opening here. So I've got a trap. I play the trap. I get the Mermello. What is this? This is Labyrinth. All right. Well, luckily, Labyrinth traps don't do anything to my trap tricks, monsters. So that's good. Uh, the tricky bit is the fact that... Um... Yeah, it all depends on what my opponent do. All right, so what is our opponent going to do? I have no water and I have the hiccups. Oh, wait, now there's some left. All right, so what is my opponent going to do now? Good question. Labyrinths can be powerful. Ooh. I appreciate the spicy tech card, Temple of the Kings. You play his trap, the turn it's set. Okay, summon a labyrinth from the deck. Can't summon except for fiends. Card leaves of here because of your normal trap. All this card's in the GY. Do a thing. Okay, that's a thing. 
So, welcome Labyrinth summoning this thing. What does this do? This card summon add a Labyrinth card. Alright. Hmm. Um. Alright. Let's go for Sarah because the trap was activated and. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the Lord of the Heavenly Prison just in case. I feel like I shouldn't use that just yet. So add a labyrinth card. So I presume the field spell. So special summon out. What is in my G Y? Um, doesn't really matter too much. I guess I'll just get a Mermello to pop the Temple of the Kings. Not that that's too harmful to me, but might as well get rid of it while I have the chance to get rid of it. Lady of the Rabarine. Cool. What does that do? I, I don't remember enough of what these cards do. Uh, what can I Well, you control a set card opponent. Can I target this card with card effect? Damage destroyed by card effects. If a Labyrinth card effect trap is activated, do a thing. Cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Let's bounce this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce this if I if I can. Uh, normal trap. Set a normal trap. Different name from the deck. Okie dokie. All right. Well, he'll still get a trap. I mean, that's what his whole deck's about is getting them trap cards. So he'll get another trap. What trap? Another welcome labyrinth. Uh. Oh, then again, it could be any normal trap. Hmm. That's a little risque. Control a fiend, target a card in the field, destroy it. Then you can send a fiend from the deck to the grave. Okay. I'm actually going to summon the Lord of the Heavenly Prison now. I have a feeling. All right, so we're going we're gonna to go get called by the grave here. And I have a feeling I might need this. So, Arc Fiend's Ghastly Glitch. That won't work on my trap tricks, though. But I need a bigger trap trick monster. So, Arc Fiend's Ghastly Glitch. All right. Blowing up Gallant Granite, really? That won't affect me at all. I only needed him for the one thing. All right, Lady of the Labyrinth is back on the board. So, can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Gotcha. Backjack, gotcha. Raptrix Sarah, gotcha. Uh, so now he's going to be able to do more things. Just all the things in the world. I am kind of glad that I got called by the grave. So what does this do? Uh, monster Lee's Field, add this card to the hand, or look at three cards. I'm going to banish Backjack. I feel like that's slightly more important. Or conversely, I could be dumb. I could be dumb too. All right. Okay, that, that that actually works fine. That's fine by me. That's actually better. It's actually better that he did that because now he doesn't have the field spell. So it's all good. I mean, he gets Welcome Labyrinth back and he gets this Chandelabra back and he gets to draw a card. But I get a trap card. Uh, let's see. So I get a monster. Uh, do I have any trolls in the graveyard yet? No. So. Dang it. Where are my Mermellos? Well, I guess I got Mantis. I can trigger her effect. I can trigger her effect. So. Let's see here. Activate Mantis's effect. We'll bounce back the floodgate hole. We'll bounce that one back. Eradicator Epidermis. Ah. Uh, destroying all the trap cards, you say. Well, that's not necessarily good. All right. All my trap cards are belong to you, you say. All right. Well. I have to respect that bit. I gotta respect that bit. Okay, so my opponent nuked my back row, which is not good. But I think I can still more or less survive this. I just gotta be smart about it. Let's see. Let's get... 
floodgate trap hole. And it stays on the board. Very nice. All right. So now that we've done all that, send to the graveyard by a card effect. Mm. I mean, I could have torrentialed to do that, but now I cannot. Let me think about this. So if I make double A Zeus, does that help me in any meaningful way? Not especially. Because of your card effect. I think an Alamaris. I can steal his stuff, or I can go for a Pingalika. Pingalingalinga, and then get more things. And this gets me monsters. Okay. Let's make the new boss monster. Good old Pingulkula. Nice 2,500 attacker, immune to all plants and insects. And if I can attach material to my monster, then I get even more stuff. We'll get Pingalakula. Get her to add me another monster. Let's go ahead and... Have I normal summoned yet? I don't think I did. Did I? I forgot. I have forgotten. No, we did not. Perfect. Let's go for Mantis. Is that why Mantis be like, hey, get me another one? Ice Dragon's Prison, you mother. I mean, I still get my thing, but still. Uh, eh. All right. Uh, my opponents, this is the battle of the two annoying decks, the decks that like to annoy people to death. I mean, I still get my monster. I still get my Arachnacampa. Which is something. It's something. And Arachnacampa is going to protect my stuff. So it's all good. All right, so the big question now, let me think. I do have Adipus. Uh, let me think. Target a face-up card, throw the number of insects and plants you control, negate their effects, then banish a trap, destroy a face-up card. We'll make Adipus. That makes all my monsters bigger. So we're going to use Adipus as a fact. We're going to negate the servant here. And we're going to banish a normal trap card like Terror uh, Torrential, blow that up, and then I can attach my opponent's monster to me. And then I will become immune to the effects of all fiends. All righty. All right, not bad at all. So now we'll just do some nice, neat damage. Now, one thing Trap Tricks never were good at is doing damage on the road, but thanks to Adipus, they can do some damage. I got a thousand attacks. All of my trap tricks, just a thousand attack will I have any normal traps in the grave. And I could, I can't make double A suits because I used my Tampa. But that's fine. It's fine. I'm immune to trap cards. And so what is this? This just summons a monster, but I can flip it face down, whatever it is. I don't think his, his monsters are immune to being flipped face down. Again with the Temple of the Kings. Okay. I'll give my opponent credit. They're doing stuff. All right. Welcome, Labyrinth. Summoning, I presume, your big boss monster at this point. Yeah, that thing. The lovely lady of the Labyrinth. I flip you face down. Yeah, that's right. Oh. The irony. But it won't work because I am unaffected. Therefore, you don't negate my trap card. Ah, I tell you, people always try to imperm these. It's a bad idea. Although I am not opposed. So your tax nineteen hundred. Uh, and I can I can keep blowing that up, right? Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. It's probably still a good idea to keep blowing that up. Yeah. I mean, I have no reason not to. And my opponent surrenders. All righty. Well, that was an interesting duel. You got to see some back and forth. This is a battle of two control decks. Mine, however, came up on top. Fanfic writers, you're welcome. So you got to see the power of the newer trap tricks. Adipus just popping your opponent's stuff, denying them things. And combined with Pingu, whose name I will never get right, is just, you know, cherry on top. Everything you're destroying is just making her stronger and making her more immune to stuff. So let's go ahead for duel number Trey. And we've shown off a lot of the stuff. Let's show off more stuff. There's still a little bit left we can show off that's 
pretty damn cool. All righty, the third and final opponent, the fighting third. I want to show up a little bit more of this deck and deal. Unfortunately, we don't win the rock, paper, scissors. That always makes things just a little tricky because we do like to go first. Although, if I get my Arachna Camper, I can go second. That's the nice thing about it. All right, is this a mirror match, perhaps? Possibly, maybe, I doubt it, but it's possible. All right. So, at the very least, we have the OG. Mermelo is just always going to be good in this deck. You know, we're all about the traps. Mermelo searches all my traps. Is all good in the hood. And we'll get the Lusion Trap Hole. Why not? Why the heck not? All right, Santa. Get in there and drop a train on him. As you do, look at the fearsome glint of fire in her eye. That's the face of battle, ladies and gentlemen. The fighting fierce face. The fight and fierce fear spirit. That's what we got with Sarah. Do I know what I'm talking about? No, but I am going to say it anyway. All right, so we got our two level fours. What do I want to make here? I guess I could first, however, of course, remember my good buddy, the Shade Brigadine. Never want to forget that boy, because then I get more boys. I mean, girls. Girly boys? Boyish girls? Who knows? Who actually knows? All righty, so I can get a rack a camper. Yeah, let's get let's get a rack a camper right off the wire. Why not? Although I could have gotten Mermello too, but you know, immune to traps and all that good stuff. So we'll make our shells a replacia over here, and then we're gonna make our if I get a uh, pingu, P pingu. I'm just gonna call you pingu. I mean, you're not a penguin monster, but I'm going to call you Pingu anyway. Good old Pingu. And we'll go for battle phase. Oh, I could have put Reflesia in attack mode. The ultimate dishonor is when you get attacked with Reflesia. Because she's clearly not meant for battle. And yet, if you hit her with it, then you're just dishonored. It's dishonorable. How did she attack you? I don't know. I guess she stepped on you. Something like Some people pay extra money for that. Well, not me. Not I. Not today. Well, we've got our Lord of the Heavenly Prison, so I get to show off of that there. So go ahead, stop me. Go ahead, I dare you. No, my opponent won't stop me. He can't stop nothing. Got all these traps. Who plays trap cards? You know, trap cards do nothing anymore. And my opponent surrenders. Well, that was really quick. That was like, well, that was less than three minutes. Let's go for, we got time for a bonus duel, I think. Let's go for one bonus duel. Alrighty, everybody, our fourth bonus duel here. Let's go right in. You know what? Sometimes it's nice to OT. Well, it's more or less OTKing your opponent. Not really, but kind of. That's how the trap trick OTKs you. One turn of OT of uh, trap tricks combos, and then your opponent gives up. But we need more, damn it. More. That duel wasn't satisfying enough. Neither is this opening hand, but at the very least, I've got like something. I got something. It's something. You know, sometimes that's all he needs, a little something, like a little bit of delusion. A little delusion illusion for our opponent. Sadly, haven't seen Witch's Strike today. Maybe I could have thrown in an extra card. It's a neat card when your opponent thinks they're safe and they hit you with an effect veiler on something. It's nice when that happens. Doesn't happen all the time, though. But when it does, it's absolutely brutal. Plus, just your opponent having it, or you having it. Your opponent is immediately more on the defensive because then their well, their whole strategy of just negating you all day, like most decks do, does nothing. Uh, so let's just do reveal a photon. I stop your hand thing. We're up against photon galaxies. I've played them myself before. I know how powerful that can be. Uh, summon a photon from the handu. Interesting. And this is the Exceed Monster on the field opponent. You got target monster control with 2,000 more attack with card effects and be destroyed by opponent's card effects. I'm gonna have to bounce something. I kinda have to. Uh, so we're gonna go for Trap Trick Sarah here. We'll go and summon out another copy of Mermello just because she allows me to do the things I like to do. You know, no spell traps here, obviously, but I get more trap cards. So let's get Floodgate Trap Hole. Why not? Why not? All right, so he still has the Photonic Dragon. The question is, what else can he do with it? Galaxy Expedite? Okay, okay this one like summons... After the normal special on this card, can summon a light from the main phase in addition. 
But yeah, I, I know he's got the Super Prime Dragon, and I'm pretty sure that's... No, it's only unaffected by monsters, if I'm not mistaken. I played the card before. It was an awesome day. Uh, such a fun card to play. Just a straight-up beat-down damage. And, you know, with all, with all the combo wombos, sometimes you just feel like doing some straight-up damage. You know? Y you miss it sometimes. It's, it makes me want to play more like Plunder Patrol or Black Wings or Crusade. It's just a deck that's all about the damage. All right, so Soifa Dragon. He's got the Cypher Dragon. I presume he's going to go for Blade Dragon. Try to blow up my things. Or he's going to make Full Armor Dragon first. One, one or the other. But I'd rather blow up one of those because they're like big and stuff. Be like Delusion. So yeah, my opponent summoned a thing. I can blow up a big dude. I have a trap in the grave, so I can banish one of these. So I'm gonna banish the uh, cyber or the uh, cyber dragon, uh, photon dragon. Oh no, that did a thing. I didn't notice. Oh, he can come back, and then he gets another. Su uh oh. So target a photon galaxy in the grave, except for itself. Summon it in defense mode. All right. Well, I guess I should have banished the Caesar. I didn't. I forgot what that did. Oh no! Even worse, he can bring that back and then make Cy Slide. Yeah. He can make the Blade Dude, basically. Well, it's a good thing I prepare for these things. Otherwise, I'd be in trouble. I mean, yeah, he's got the Cyber Cipher Super Blade. And he's gonna slice Mermelo in half. Why this is in defense mode? I'm very curious about, considering it's got such high attack. But, let's see, target a light monster, level becomes foe. I mean, all things considered, I think I'm still okay. I'm not going to be dead this turn, at least I don't think. I mean, I still have Deania. I have Deania. I can just summon her, bring back a trap trick monster. I mean, all I have is Mermelos, but it's still something. Okay, it's a thing. Galaxy Trance. Photon in the grave. And a galaxy from the deck of the same... Oh... Ah, this could be a problem. Although he still put this in defense mode, but then he didn't even play it. Okay, that works for me. Uh, yeah, that'll work for me, Jimmy. All right, let's reactivate the King of the Heavenly Prison, as we like to do. And let me think about this. So if I summon Deania, that'll activate and bring back Mermelo. I'll get a trap card. Be like, hello. And then... Good old Sarah goes, oh, I guess he couldn't play Trance this turn or something. The only thing I can think of. So we got Floodgate Hole. Do I want another Delusion Trap Hole? Or do I want a Grave Digger's Hole? Hmm. I kind of want another Delusional Trap Hole. I already have Floodgate Hole. This will work just fine. So what we're going to do here is make Maskedane. Then we'll make Adipus. Hollow. And then we'll go for our good friend Parallel Seed. Ha ha ha. Well, my friend, you put up a good fight, but I have a feeling the game will soon be mine. Uh, yeah, because now what I can do is make my baby. Go old Pinga Kula Kula, whose name. I, I, some of these names, I, I can't read them. I don't know what it is. So I read it enough. Pingu. Pingula Kula. It sounds like. Penguin Cola. <laughs> That's what it sounds like it's saying. All right, but let's go ahead and add ourselves a mod. Let's add uh, Arachna. Why not? Not yet. I will get to you. I'm actually going to probably save that. And we'll banish Compulse and blow up the Cypher Dragon. That way I can just steal a dragon and then be immune to dragons. This has an effect? What? I didn't know that. Um, target a galaxy. Oh, okay. So it just summons itself back. Okay, that's not an issue. I was almost worried there for a second, but I am okay. So let's go ahead and attack over the cypher dragon. It is small now. It's small. I can take care of it, and then we'll just attack over the photon dragon, and we should be pretty good. I mean, I've got floodgate to flip anything. Huge delusion can blow stuff up. I keep forgetting that this thing keeps coming back. I really just don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. 
So we're just end our turn. I mean, I can't be destroyed by card effects. I'm immune to trap cards. I've got two trap cards to stop his big plays. Photon Vanisher. Special summoned. Have a dude. I mean, have a have a dude, why don't you? Have a dude. I mean. Okay, so the Galaxy Brave guy is coming back. The Galaxy Brave, and then targeted Galaxy gains attack points. Certainly gains some attack points, that's for certain. And now he's going to try to beat over my everything. All right, end of the main phase. I really wish this could protect me, but it does not. So... Guess we'll go with delusional trap hole. We gotta get rid of this thing. It's too big. Too big. And then we'll banish, I guess, this dude. And then we're gonna go ahead, attach a card. All right. We got the Lord of the Heavenly Prison. That'll set us another card. I am so tempted, but I feel like I need Grave Digger Hole for now. And yeah, he'll he'll destroy Adipus, sadly. Or Conversely. I mean, I still have Floodgate Trap Hole, my dude. Alrighty, we're back, everybody. Uh he stole my Boguska. Well, I guess Boguska got to do something today. That's at least kind of impressive. Uh, so let me think about this. Send to the graveyard, except from the field. Okay, so if I blow it up, I'm good. Let's activate Adipus. We'll negate Baguska, and we will negate uh, the Photon Dragon. Banish a normal trap card. Be like, go away. And destroy this dude. That way I can steal it. And pretty much run my opponent over from there. I'm going to keep all my stuff, though. I don't want him having any of it back. So, what do we want? So, I already have Arachnid Camp. Uh, let's get Mermello. I don't think I'm going to need any more trap cards, but if I can, I will do. Do I even want to exceed summon? I don't think I do. I think I just want to run him over. You don't hear that all the time with the trap tricks, but when you do, you know it's going to get dirty. So, we'll just run our opponent over here. There ain't much he can do about nothing, and we is all set. So... A very nice duel by of a Photon player. He put in his two cents, and I heard every bit of it. So, there's another win via the Trap Tricks. Let's go ahead for the end screen. This episode's been a little longer than I wanted, but it's all good. So, let's go for the end screen. All right, everybody, Trap Tricks with the new support. Four wins is not too shabby, I have to say. Granted, one was a bit of a rage quit, but, you know, everyone else at least gave it a shot. Some people see trap tricks and immediately think trap card hell and just leave. Luckily, the people on Edia Pro are made of sterner stuff. So I hope everybody enjoyed seeing the new trap tricks stuff. We got to do a, a lot of what this deck can do. We never needed double A Zeus. Alamaris could have made her, but really didn't need to. Not this time around. You know, new Pina Colada. Pina Colada here, she does her job. And she's pretty damn good at it. So I enjoyed it. I hope you guys at home enjoyed it. Make sure you hit like button. Let's me know that you liked the video. You know, hit that if you liked it. the video. You made it this far. Consider subscribing. Help the channel keep going. We're still trying to climb the numbers so we don't fade into obscurity just yet. And so next time on the show, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with the rest of this week. We'll, we'll find out later. We'll see how it goes. But for now, thanks for watching. Your boy Memphis signing out. Take care till next time. Peace.